that there's a lot of kinetic energy in butterfly. So the first, the first level of kinetic energy occurs off what I call the chest bounce. So what the chest bounce is, is basically taking the, the chest and, and taking it down below the surface. And basically, if you take this thoracic cavity and you, you push it down below the surface and you push it down this way, it's going to immediately want to come back in the opposite direction, right? So the, the best way to explain this is that when kids are doing this basic, uh, what I call this, this um, kind of rhythm skull drill, they're also kind of getting a sense that they want to turn the corner with their hands or sit to turn the corner at the bottom of the bounce. So as the chest comes back to the surface right here, as it's coming back to the surface, they're setting that anchor position. So you can see this hand turning the corner right here, and he's going to set this anchor position. And this is the same for butterfly as it is for breaststroke. I mean, his hands are a little wide for butterfly, but the concept is the same, is that you want the chest cavity coming towards the surface. You want this part of the harmonic coming up towards the surface because it creates a nice strong leverage position in that that kind of establishes a really good bolting position. How, you know, how wide that is will depend to some degree on them. How, you know, in terms of the, the rhythm and the, the, the height of the harmonic, it might be a little wider if they're deeper, not as much if they're shallower. And we'll look at a deeper and shallower harmonic. But the idea is that I want them to understand the harmonic I want them to understand the value of the chest bounce and how to where to turn the corner into setting the anchor. And to me, those are, that's the foundation principle in butterfly. Um, we all know, you know, you can teach them where the kicks occur and how they occur and those types of things. But to me, every kid should learn how to do this and understand the value of the chest bounce and understand the timing of it when it occurs. But a lot of people talk about butterfly and I feel like the hands have to move away from the body back towards the body and back out underneath the body. So there is this, really it should be something that looks like this, it's a very flat S. People think of it as an, think of it as an hourglass shape type of thing, but it isn't because the hands move away from the body, back towards the body, then back away from the body. And uh, essentially, the body just travels past that position, right? So that's how uh, ultimately what we're working on, thinking of working it towards. So you can handstand, uh, start outside the shoulders, skull towards the inside underneath the belly button, and then back out. And you can tell that she's holding water very well in this is because if you take a look at these bubbles right in here, if you look at all those bubbles, you notice that there's, they kind of slip off her hand just a little bit as she goes into the in-sweep, but they stay pretty close. They're on top of her hands. They're still on top of her hands. You can see even to the out-sweep. So these same bubble, the bubbles that were back out here are now down here. And you can see when her arms enter the water again, right now, the double trail is back here. So she's pretty much tra traveled an entire body length with uh, one arm cycle, which is very, very efficient in butterfly. So really these these bubbles to some degree give you a pretty good indication if you're a coach and you're looking at your butterflyer then a lot of times you'll get to a position like here and your bubbles will be back here and you might be in that exit position and your bubbles are back here and you can tell that's a significant amount of slippage between the two right and you can tell a slippage in butterflies simply by looking at the bubble trail and where they are but again to me the hands have to enter in front of the shoulders there has to be an Nice out sweep to the outside as you're going through your chest bounce phase. They can sweep back in towards the inside as you kind of connect and get into that vaulting action as your, your harmonic goes towards the surface. They squeeze in underneath, kind of thumbs almost touching, and then they go back out past the hips as you finish that harmonic into that next bounce. So 